healing to your bones, sweet to your soul, and a honeycomb. What does all these have in common? Let's talk about that. Katie made me breakfast there. Eggs, not a sponsor. <laughs> Eggs, not a sponsor. Anyway, one of my favorite authors, other than the Bible, Edgar Allan Poe. Poe me a cup. Not a sponsor. He's dead. Anyway, yeah. um, so what does honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones, what are all those have in common? Um, Jesus. <laughs> Wow. We go deep on this show. Anyway. You know it when Katie's involved. That's right. So, um, gracious words. What are gracious words? Well, grace is something that you don't earn or deserve. And grace actually is more than that. It's giving you something that you don't deserve, but giving you more power when it's given to you. And then it puts you on an equal plane with the person. Let me give an example. I always like going to the the cop scenario. If a cop pulls you over, gives you a ticket, you have to pay it. That's punishment, right? You're done. You cry, you get upset, you get angry, you speed off, and you get another ticket. But anyway, um, mercy is he stops you, or she stops you, uh, writes you a ticket, and then says, oh, I'm just going to give you a warning. You don't have to pay. That's mercy. Grace is he or she stops you, writes you a ticket. They pay the ticket. They give you the badge and the car and call you a cop. That's grace. It gives you abundantly more and takes the punishment away. So, since we have this definition of grace, what are gracious words? Well, gracious words are words to people that don't deserve it, that need mercy, and that need grace in their life. And it's amazing because uh, when I go to school and I say nothing to people when I'm having a bad day, it's interesting that um, they think either I'm angry at them or I'm not feeling good or they ask me. Um, but when I go and I'm, you know, giving gracious words that to people to compliment them, to give them life in their spirit, to bring them around, to watch out for other people and see what their facial expressions are and what words I can give to them. Now, do they deserve it? Probably not. Probably sometimes they're mean to others or, you know, other people have been not so kind to them. But if you're going to have gracious words, it's to everybody, it's equal, and it helps them in their life to encourage them. So when Proverbs chapter 16, 24, here's the thing that connects all these together. Gracious words are a honeycomb. Have you ever really tasted a honeycomb? I mean, right out of, I know Raj and Becky have because they were raising bees there for a while. And you just, like, take it out, take some of the wax off, and just eat that honeycomb. I mean, it's like, oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Anyway. You've never actually done that. Yeah, I have in sixth grade when we went to a, a bee mm. sanctuary or whatever that was. But anyway. A best, bee emporium. Yeah, whatever that is. <laughs> but anyway, it is like, mm, it just, yeah. Mm. And then I used to get those sticks. Remember those sticks, those honey sticks that are that. all different, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Different flavors. And then sweet to the soul. I mean, when you say good things, encouraging things, when you're when you're good at your words, encouraging and equipping others, I mean, it is sweet to the soul. I mean, it is like an uplifting thing. Even if you're having the most horrible day, one word from one person can really change your whole mood. And then healing to the bones. Um, you ever been in counseling or been in uh, a situation where, you know, people are really hurting, I mean, even down to their bones, and you start encouraging them or even sitting there and saying nothing. Just being there with them, just putting their arm around, um, you know, even if they don't deserve it, it's still gracious words. It's still a gracious gesture. And it does heal bones. I mean, it heals life itself. 
Um, you know, they, they've done experiments where cancer patients that are dying, you know, um, if they didn't have any personal touch or they were, or the family was pissed at them that they were dying and, you know, around them, they really didn't die in peace. But when you have this joy, this, support this support system, this encouragement, they die peacefully and, and wonderfully. And, it, you know, it's a, it's a interesting thing to see. And, you know, too... It's not just healing the person that you're saying the kind words to. It also makes you. Yes. It's like a double, a double. It's weird because when you, once you encourage somebody, it reciprocates. Yeah. Um, and it's a wonderful feeling also for yourself. So my encouragement for you this weekend is today, Saturday and Sunday, find people to have gracious words to. Gracious words. If you need to repent, if you need to ask for forgiveness, if you need to encourage somebody, if you've done stuff in the past with your words that are not very pretty, go to them. Say sorry, forgive them, help them with gracious words. So Proverbs 16, 24, gracious words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great weekend. See you on Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. in person or on live on Facebook. Either way, I love you. Bye-bye.